Right now, team coverage from the storm-ravaged cities now recovering from Hurricane Michael. New stories of what the storm left behind. Plus... Federal officials say the death toll from Hurricane Michael could rise over the weekend. I'm Bree Jackson on Capitol Hill, and I have details on response efforts. Then, the crackdown on CBD oil in Alabama, the debate over the new products, and the warning from law enforcement. And race weekend in Talladega. A live report from the track is next. Live with local coverage you can count on. This is CBS 42 News at 5. Right now tonight, the search for survivors continues along the Florida Panhandle. This is a look at Panama City from Air 42 right now. Hurricane Michael now blamed for at least 13 deaths tonight. Good evening, I'm Jack Royer. And I'm Sherry Jackson. Thank you for joining us now. As crews comb through the rubble, we're also hearing countless stories of survival. Tonight, we continue our team coverage of Hurricane Michael's impact, beginning with CBS 42 State Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson. He's live in Panama City, and Rashad, you've been talking to people, in particular, a woman who rode out this storm in her mobile home. Yeah, that's right, Sherry. Take a look at this behind me. This is much of the scene that we're seeing here in Panama City, but just across the street is exactly where Mary Waterford took the storm in her own home. She braved the storm. Mary Whittington's plan was to get out of Dodge ahead of Hurricane Michael. She credits her recliner for saving her life. With no power or running water, Whittington is left cooking her food on a grill. We're going to grill everything that is thawing out and see what I can do with it. Everything in the bedroom's ruined and soaked, but I sat here the whole time and wrote it out. Good Lord just had his hand on me. We found a gas station on Business 98 with no power, but determined to open. As for the woman who rode out the storm in her mobile home, asked if she'll do it again, she says absolutely not. We're live tonight in Panama City. Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on. Rashad, thank you. And tonight, these images from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration show just how much devastation Hurricane Michael caused in Mexico Beach, Florida. That's where the storm made landfall Wednesday as a Category 4 hurricane. Now that the storm is gone, federal agencies are working on rescue and recovery. CBS 42 Washington correspondent Bree Jackson tonight continuing our team coverage with details on those recovery efforts as federal leaders send a warning about that storm. FEMA officials warn the death toll from Hurricane Michael could rise over the weekend. Administrator Brock Long tells residents to stay away from devastated areas, including Bay County, Florida. You know, when you have this type of destruction, there's gas lines that are there, there's power lines that are down. Uh, in doing so, you're putting your life in danger. Long says the storm caused deaths in states including Virginia, Georgia, North Carolina, and Florida. FEMA is now focused on rescue efforts, but the widespread damage makes it hard to reach certain areas. Military leaders deployed the Coast Guard and other resources to help. The shallow water response teams have been conducting search and rescue efforts and removing debris from roadways to assist our uh, local emergency uh, responders. FEMA says Hurricane Michael also caused significant damage to hospitals and nursing homes. Federal agencies, including the Department of Health and Human Services, is working to get medical supplies to communities. The American Red Cross is providing shelter and offering its Safe and Well website as a resource for families. It's a free reunification website that allows you to connect or leave a message uh, for your loved ones. Officials say it's too soon to tell how much the storm's recovery will cost. You know, we're doing everything that we can to get the roadways open and trying to stabilize the situation so that people can go home and, and, and figure out how to put the rest of their livelihood back together. Bree Jackson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. And word tonight that the Red Cross now says there is a critical need for blood donations because the storm forced the cancellations of dozens of blood drives across the southeast. There's more coverage of the storm's aftermath on the CBS Evening News with Jeff Glore. Much more live coverage from the Gulf Coast. That begins after this show at 5.30. Right now, Alabama power crews are almost done restoring power in southeast Alabama. We're told they expect to have power restored to 98% of the 83,000 customers who were impacted by Hurricane Michael by midnight tonight. 
I'm here now in the CBS 42 Storm Team Weather Center with meteorologist Sarah Canty. And, and Sarah, now that Michael has moved out, we can focus on a little change in our weather for the weekend. Major change. I know you probably noticed it today. It was absolutely fabulous outside. And I want to show you what's left of Michael is well off the coast of Nova Scotia right now and will not have any more impact on the lower, lower 48. Thank goodness. Looking off to our west, we have this disturbance back to our west with a lot of showers through Memphis and down through Arkansas. This is not going to bring us any rain. We have really dry air in place, so all that we're going to see throughout the evening is cloud cover. So right now it's really nice evening and feeling very comfortable in Anison right now. Plenty of sunshine and look at these temperatures. A comfortable and cool 72 degrees right now. Humidity 35 percent, so it is feeling so refreshing outside right now. Now that cloud cover that I mentioned, that's going to keep our temperatures out of the 40s. So if you thought it was a little cold this morning, it's not going to be as cold tomorrow, but we are still going to be in the 50s. So still a little chilly when you wake up tomorrow. So th by around 10 o'clock tonight, we are already in the upper 50s. So it's going to be cool if you're out on the town this evening. Overnight tonight, we'll see these temperatures fall to the low to mid 50s tomorrow morning. Partly cloudy again today. I'll have that full weekend forecast for you and also Alabama, Auburn and also Talladega. Those forecasts are all coming up for you in my storm team seven day forecast. Sarah, thank you. Right now we're following breaking news. A house fire in Jefferson County. The fire on Atkins Road started just before 2.30 this afternoon in Adger. As you can see, the home destroyed. The cause of that fire, though, is under investigation tonight. Meanwhile, new at 5, the discussion about CBD oil, certainly a hot topic across the state of Alabama. The law enforcement agencies across the state are making it clear what is allowed here in Alabama and what is not. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simons live in the studio now. And Hillary, what have you learned from the Shelby County Drug Task Force? Well, Sherry, I learned that CBD oil, whether it has the THC or not, is illegal. THC is essentially what's known to get the feeling of being high. But the drug task force says the law does not specify on THC or not, and therefore is illegal. Captain Clay Hammock tells me there is a lot of confusion on the so-called treatment. He says the federal government classifies anything that comes from the marijuana plant, including CBD, is illegal. There are a few exceptions in Alabama. That's Carly's Law and Lenny's Law, which allows CBD oil to be prescribed by a physician if proven to have a debilitating illness like epilepsy. Now, Captain Hammock says it's not considered dangerous, but he says from his experience in narcotics, it can be abused. So no, we have not ever worked an overdose death from someone ingesting too much marijuana or too much CBD, and that is fact. However, what we do identify, and I say this very seriously and unapologetically, though many will disagree, is that we do see this being a gateway for many young adults and students who have a relaxed cultural perception of marijuana. Mar now coming up at 6, I spoke to the medical cannabis advocates of Alabama. Hear from the liaison on why he thinks CBD oil is misunderstood and what studies are proven on this oil. For now, live in the studio, Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Interesting discussion, Hillary. Thanks. Right now, an escaped work release escapee is back behind bars. We're told 30-year-old Richard Tails took off from his assigned job location in Hamilton just before 8 o'clock this morning. He was captured this afternoon. Tallis was working at the Hamilton Work Release Center uh, there for promoting prison contraband. Meanwhile, right now, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is asking for help tracking down a murder suspect. Well, the person's accused of shooting a man while he walked his dog. The Jefferson County Coroner tells us 34-year-old Jack Bolden was shot on Enzer Drive just before 5 o'clock Thursday evening. According to investigators, someone in a white Chevrolet Impala pulled up to Bolden and fired shots. Bolden died at the hospital. Anyone who has information that can help detectives find the shooter or that car is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 254-7777. You can remain anonymous. They just want the information. And Birmingham police are also asking for you to help them if you have information in this next case. They're trying to identify the person seen here. He's wanted in a robbery at the GameStop store on Parkway East. It happened on September 20th. These are surveillance photos that were taken during the robbery. Now, if your tip to Crime Stoppers leads to an arrest, Crime Stoppers will provide a cash reward.
Speedway. That is the sound race fans love. The need for speed brewing at Talladega Super Speedway right now as racing fans will get their fill Sunday during the 1000bulge.com 500. It's race number two of the second round of the 2018 NASCAR playoffs. And one person who knows all about going fast is back at Dega this weekend to remember her history making runs. CBS 42 sports director Chris Brees live at the Speedway tonight with that. Chris, good evening. Yeah, Jack, uh, Dale Earnhardt's got success here. Jeff Gordon, all of them relive the glory days, but we're not talking about one of those two. We're talking about a woman called Lynn St. James. 30 years ago in 1988, she set a world record for women, fastest speed ever, 212 miles an hour. And talking with her earlier today, yeah, it's a little more difficult getting back in that truck and that car uh, 30 years later. But St. James, a pioneer for females in racing. She went on to a successful career on the IndyCar circuit, but she set the tone for women in this sport. At one point, the 21 records she held for speed in 1988, 16 of those would have been men's records, too. He wanted to know something until he read that. I didn't know really? that. <laughs> I mean, I just went out there. To set records and to be successful for Ford after all the effort that he, you know, that they put into it and for Elliott and for Goodyear, I, I really didn't know that until he said that. I didn't realize that those were records that could have been set by better women. So that's kind of cool. St. James still loves going fast, even at 71 years old. Yes, 71. She looks like she's 55. Still goes out there and tries to go as fast as she can. She's probably the most popular person out there this weekend. Number two. Close behind her has got to be Bubba Wallace, the Mobile native. Guys, we'll have more on him coming up live in sports. See you in a bit, Chris. Thanks. Right now, thousands of University of Alabama alumni in Tuscaloosa for homecoming weekend. If you've ever been to Tuscaloosa on any game day, you know traffic can be a nightmare. <laughs> Throw in homecoming, and now to make matters worse, Aldot crews are in the middle of a major construction project there. Her crews are replacing utilities and doing road maintenance work. In the process, they've had to shut down several side streets, and they've reduced Lurling Wallace Boulevard to only two lanes in both directions. And we're told this $23 million construction project should be finished by December of next year. Now, coming up on the CBS 42 News at 6 o'clock, hear from some downtown businesses who say the work is hurting their bottom line. With homecoming weekend here, there are a lot of events going on in Tuscaloosa this weekend. So you got that traffic note. All the fun begins with a pep rally and bonfire. That's at 7 o'clock. The parade starts at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The bonfire's tonight. Then there's the homecoming game. The Crimson Tide taking on the Missouri Tigers at Bryant-Denny. That is at 6 o'clock tomorrow night for kickoff. This year's homecoming theme, excellence lights the crimson flame. It's going to be a fun weekend. Here's something kids of all ages will enjoy. You don't even have to be a kid to enjoy the world's <laughs> largest bouncy house. It is in Shelby County right now, exactly where you can find it for your kids just ahead. Plus, one local clinic is giving same day results as people get their mammograms, how it could change breast cancer treatments. That's coming up. This is a huge deal. This is the best migraine medicines that we've had ever. The FDA has now approved a new migraine treatment that is changing lives. We'll tell you how next. Couldn't ask for a better weekend. We're going to be feeling like fall, but rain is on the way. I'll tell you when coming up in my Storm Team 7-day forecast. You're telling me you were friended by God. Someone calling themselves God friended me. They won't stop. One, two, three. I need my life back. I have no idea why anybody sent you my name. Everything was great until the God account came crashing down on me. But if all this account wants is for you to help people, it ain't a tough choice. With great power comes great responsibility. Churchill? No, Spider-Man. God friended me. New CBS Sunday after 60 Minutes. It's the inventory reduction sale at Standard Furniture and Mattress. Take 50, 60, even 70% off clearance, plus up to 12 months special financing. No credit is refused. Everyone's approved. Only at Standard Furniture and Mattress. 
Grab four. 1988. It's tailgate time right now at Lembaugh Toyota. 1988. RAV4, just 19, 19, 888. During tailgate time at Lemba Toyota, 1988 buys RAV4. Tailgate time pricing, only 19, 888. Hurry, tailgate time ends soon at Lemba Toyota. Exit 120 off I-59 West. Thinking used? Sarah's got it. At Sarah Automotive, we offer a huge selection of quality pre-owned vehicles, something for every budget, many under $10,000, many still under factory warranty, all backed by our 72-hour exchange policy. Our no-hassle trade promise means we'll pay cash for your current vehicle, even if you don't buy from us. Ten locations, so if you can't find it, they probably don't make it. Thinking used? Sarah's got it. Log on today, sarahautomotive.com. Sarah Automotive Group, customers first. A young man leaves everything behind to pursue the elusive woodland sylph of his dreams as a vengeful witch tries to tear them apart. Alabama Ballet presents La Sylphide, A Witch's Revenge, October 19th through the 21st at the BJCC Theater. Morgan & Morgan, dial pound 529 on your cell phone. Pound long, that's all. You're watching CBS 42, local coverage you can count on with Sherry Jackson, Jack Royer, Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann and Sports with Chris Brees. This is CBS 42 News at 5. Back with you tonight with what's being called a breakthrough for migraine sufferers in a new FDA-approved treatment called Imgality. Now the third in a new class of drugs that aims to stop headaches before they even begin. Imgality is a once-a-month treatment. It binds with a substance of the brain that may cause migraines. We're told there are no major side effects. 50 to 60 percent of patients get a 50 percent reduction in their migraines the first month. So it really, it improved the quality of my life by a thousand times. Melissa Cephalo Boyley has been having migraines since she was seven years old. After participating in an FDA trial for Imgality, she's gone from having 27 headaches a month to now just three. The drug costs about $575 a month. The company, Lilly, is offering some sufferers their first year of doses for free. All this month, we are turning our set pink as we inform you about the ongoing efforts to fight the local war on breast cancer. And today, we're taking a look at a clinic in Hoover that offers same-day mammogram results. Monica Tataria opened the Camellia Women's Imaging clinic on Valleydale Road. This was two years ago. Tataria is a radiologist who can look at your mammogram results while you're still in the room. If she sees any problems, she'll come up with a plan that day so you won't have to wait for a follow-up appointment. We know that by doing this we find breast cancer earlier and if we can find breast cancer earlier then we can almost always cure it. Um, you know, people think of the treatment of breast cancer involving chemotherapy, losing your hair, having to throw up. Well, if we find breast cancer early enough, we can avoid chemotherapy altogether. Camellia Imaging also offers breast ultrasounds, biopsies and bone density exams. This month, we are not only highlighting breast cancer awareness stories here on air, but also on CBS42.com and on your streaming devices. Welcome to the Local War on Breast Cancer, the podcast. I'm Sherry Jackson. CBS42 is partnering with UAB Comprehensive Cancer Center throughout Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You can find the podcast in the iTunes store, Spotify, and of course, for free on CBS42.com. We are walking step by step through what happens after you find a lump. Episode 2 launched today. Be sure to join us next Thursday for our half hour special, The Local War on Breast Cancer. It is at 6.30 p.m. here on CBS 42. UAB Comprehensive Cancer Center on colleges and nurse practitioners will be here to take your calls and to answer any questions you might have about breast cancer detection, treatment, and cutting edge research happening right here at home. Well, we haven't even hit Halloween yet, and holiday stamps are already for sale at your local post office. Christmas is coming. The new sparkling Holidays Commemorative Forever stamps feature classic images of Santa. The four images are details from larger paintings that were originally published in ads for the Coca-Cola Company in the 1940s. You probably recognize them. That ran from the 40s through the 60s, and it's finally starting to feel like the holiday season outside. Feeling a little like Christmas, not <laughs> quite. And now for <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann, a Storm Team Meteorologist, Sarah Canty. You said it a minute ago, you couldn't ask for a better weekend. I know, and what a change. <laughs> Holy cow, from last weekend <laughs> where we were. Holy cow. It was so hot. <laughs> it's fine.
finally feeling like it should for this time of year. We actually are unseasonably cool by just a bit this morning. Not going to be quite as cool tomorrow morning, but it's going to be a really nice night. And you might need a little bit of a light jacket for this evening because our temperatures will continue to tumble. Right now we're at 73 degrees. It feels so incredible outside because we have almost no humidity. Well, 35% humidity, but it feels like no humidity compared to where we have been. We're already in the 60s right now in Coleman as well as Hamilton and at 68, 70 degrees right now in Fay. It's still a little warm in Tuscaloosa at 77, Moundville also at 75. So it's going to be very comfortable for all the high school football games going on this evening. And I know you're looking off to your west a little concerned about this rain tracking towards our area, but not to worry. We are going to stay dry. Those dew points are so low. That means our air is just so dry that the rain is not going to make it to the ground. We're just going to see cloud cover overnight tonight. So all you're going to need to worry about this evening is clouds, no rain, even though future cast may try to pick up on a blip here or there. It's just not going to happen. So tomorrow morning, because of the cloud cover, the clouds act as almost a blanket to trap in the heat of the day. So we're not going to see our temperatures fall quite as much tomorrow morning. So when you wake up, it's not going to be in the 40s. It'll be in the 50s. So still feeling like fall and slightly chilly to start out your morning. Staying very comfortable throughout the day. Tomorrow we will be in the mid 70s, low 70s in East Alabama, slightly warmer in Tuscaloosa. 78 at 345 in the afternoon, so still very comfortable getting a break from the 80s. I do think things are going to be a little bit warmer by the time we hit Sunday, but for the football games, it's going to feel just like it should for football weather. For homecoming game in Tuscaloosa, it'll be 72 at kickoff, cooling off to the mid 60s by the final whistle, but still staying very comfortable, not too cool because of that cloud cover. And we all are also going to start to see a change by Sunday where we'll be slightly warmer. Here's a live look on the plains right now getting ready for the Tennessee Auburn game going to be very nice for that 11 a.m. kickoff 68 degrees in Auburn and for race weekend could not ask for a better forecast. It is going to be slightly warmer for the big race on Sunday. We're going to get a little bit more humidity to work with but by no means is it going to be oppressively humid but our temperatures will be climbing just a bit. We could hit 80 degrees in Talladega on Sunday. Now we are going to see a change by the beginning of the week. We'll start to see isolated showers both Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday finally clearing out. We have another front moving through. That's why we'll see those showers increase Tuesday, but clearing out and cooling down by the middle and end of the week. Won't complain about 80s, I'll tell you that. Right now, the world's biggest bounce house is in Calera, of all places. You can find it at the Central Alabama Paintball Park. It'll be there through Sunday. In addition to the big bounce house, there are also smaller bouncies, we're told, as well as a family zone. For times and ticket information, go to the CBS 42 News app and just search Bounce House. And I say, you don't have to be a kid to enjoy a good bounce An house. experience like none that other. You even see the DJ there warming <laughs> things up. Uh, we're talking Talladega and going fast next. That is coming up in spring. Sports as Mobile native Bubba Wallace is already loving the home cooking at his home track. We'll go there next. Pain wants to stop you, block you, <laughs> like that's going to happen. Icy hot. Icy the dull, hot to relax. Rise from pain. Icy hot. Reynolds Kitchens has eliminated plastic wrap frustration for good. To celebrate, award winner Jeff Russo composed the world's shortest victory song. Yes. This is the good stuff. Your local Ford dealer is committed to the fight against breast cancer, and you can take part in the battle. It's the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure, Saturday, October 13th at Regents Field in Birmingham. Join thousands of runners and walkers as we take to the streets, all to raise funds for research, education, screening, and treatment of breast cancer. Your local Ford dealer will be there, and we hope you will too. Together, we can make strides to end breast cancer forever. Visit ComanNCAlabama.org. Alabama, for all its natural beauty, grand traditions, rich history, and contributions to science and the arts. It's our people who are the heart and soul of Alabama. 
Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama is honored to have served the people of Alabama since 1936 with quality, affordable health insurance to cover what matters. Today, Blue Cross is proud to offer even more value for people in Alabama with Medicare. With a statewide $0 premium all-in-one Medicare health plan, including prescription coverage, dental, vision, and hearing benefits, a free Silver Sneakers membership too. Plus, more doctors and hospitals throughout Alabama than any other plan, with no referrals needed. It's peace of mind with no monthly cost from the local plan you know. Call 1-877-615-8242 now to get your free information kit. That's 1-877-615-8242. There are a lot of options when choosing an attorney. All you have to do is turn on the TV. At Wedemark Keith, we believe in doing things a little different than others. We believe in respecting our profession, dignity in advertising, and respect for our clients. We also know that our track record speaks for itself. If you've been hurt in a car wreck or on the job, let us put our experience to work for you. Call Wettermark Key because your case matters. WKFirm.com. CBS 42 News is sponsored by your Central Alabama Honda dealers. You have waited so long, baby. <laughs> you might remember this from eight months ago. Mobile native Bubba Wallace broke through on the NASCAR circuit a second place finish at the Daytona 500. Now he's a household name in the racing world and come Sunday at five o'clock, Bubba Wallace would love nothing more than to find himself sitting right here in victory lane because he kind of needs it. Since that race at Daytona in February, he has not even come close to sniffing first place. In fact, his best finish was eighth place over the summer. This is a guy who is quickly becoming one of the best names on the circuit. And yeah, you know how people at Talladega love Dale Earnhardt Jr. Well, he's not here anymore. Could Bubba Wallace really become the new fan favorite? Listen to what he said about the fan reception he got when he arrived today. It's great. I feel, you know, good vibes already. As soon as you step off the plane, had a whole crowd of fans right there at the doors of the of the hangar there to uh, to, to greet us for, for autographs and stuff. So it's shaping up to be a good weekend. I'm excited. The race time Sunday for the 1000bulbs.com 500 is 1 p.m. They love going fast at Talladega, and this year the Alabama football offense loves going fast as well. Chris Wrinkle is there live in Tuscaloosa for homecoming. Well, it's homecoming, and the festivities getting started tonight behind me. A giant pyre that they're going to light out fire right around 7 o'clock. But, of course, all of this and the festivities wrapped up in what's going to be a, probably a pretty good football game. If you like a lot of fireworks, a lot of offense, a lot of fast-paced points, this is your game. Two of the highest-scoring offenses in the entire country facing off Alabama and Missouri. Drew Locke against Tua Tungavailoa. These are two guys that are going to be playing on Sundays. Now, Alabama has made a name for themselves for scoring and scoring quickly. That kind of puts the defense in a bind because they're not on the bench much. They got to go out and play more and more. So Alabama's losing the time of possession, but they're not going to stop anytime soon. This defense just has to get on board. We're not going to apologize for scoring fast or scoring a lot of points, but um, you know, just however the game goes, um, defense has to be ready to play a, a good Missouri offense, and we're going to be looking to play a really good Missouri defense. So both sides of the ball is going to have to prepare this week and uh, get ready for a challenging game ahead. Homecoming festivities getting ready to get going here in Tuscaloosa. That's going to do it for sports. News continues after the break. Cancer picked the wrong woman. Sorry, cancer. You're going to lose this one. We're going to knock you out. Cancer doesn't beat me. I'm going to crush this disease. Cancer, you're done. We're going to figure you out. Cancer will be a thing of the past. At UAB, we're sending a warning to cancer that our doctors are dedicated to killing it completely while giving our patients a voice in the fight. We're all in the battle together. And we're going to win. Take a look at tonight's primetime lineup starting at 7, only on CBS 42. Sponsored by Weathermark Keith, because your case matters. 
Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. With no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. And True Stage offers plans to fit your budget starting at less than 32 cents a day. Help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Call 1-800-814-0728 for a free no-obligation quote today. You weren't thinking about a Medicare plan back then, but at Viva Medicare, it's been on our mind for a long time. And we know a thing or two about making Medicare easy. That's why our plans have $0 copays for primary care physician visits. So when the time comes to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan that focuses on the things you're passionate about, we'll be here for you. Viva Medicare. Enjoy life without the worry. Learn more at VivaHealth.com slash Medicare. I'm attorney Alexander Chenard. If you've been injured in an accident, call me, Alabama. Your wait is over. The season of savings is here. This fall, lower temperatures means hotter deals. Your Honda Dealers Fall Savings Event is going on now. So reward yourself with the best deals of the year, like an all-new 2018 Civic, now for just $189 a month. Or get an Accord North American Car of the Year for just $249 a month. So stop waiting and raking these incredible savings now. Made in Alabama. Alabama proud. Hurry down to your Central Alabama Honda dealer today. I'm Dale Marsh. I've created hundreds of Alabama jobs. Office jobs. Factory jobs. All kinds of good paying jobs. It's not complicated. We did it through hard work and treating people right. Politicians just don't understand that. Whether you work with your hands or behind a desk, I believe the government's job is to stay out of yours. I'm Del Marsh. I believe in low taxes and ending nonsense regulations because your hard work should pay off. Being involved in a wreck due to negligence is a life-altering experience. This is what I deal with on a daily basis. Our clients at Dane Crane Injury Law are thankful that we know exactly what to do to get them back on track. Call us today. We're here to help. Sherry Jackson, weeknights at 5, 6, and 10 on CBS 42 News. That's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us. The CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor is next. More coverage from Florida, and we're back with you in a half hour with the CBS 42 News at 6.